Give us the update, right, first and foremost, right? Because it, 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 the pictures really tell the story here, what we were seeing. Yeah, it was a complete uh, nightmare on Sunday. And obviously, we, we lost uh, uh, one of our residents, 43-year-old uh, woman, and in a complete tragedy, uh, tragic uh, situation. But uh, we are doing a lot better today. Uh, last night, we had about uh, six people stay at a shelter. The night before, we were at 11. Uh, so we are literally drying out. And uh, our public works for the county alongside the state and other neighboring areas are helping those villages and, and towns that are impacted. Mm -hmm. uh, we are basically not only repairing the roads, but doing an assessment on the bridges to see if they can um, hold any uh, weight. A lot of them have been washed out. Some of them are permanently damaged, as well as the water and wastewater systems. I mean, how much do you think, you, I know it's hard to put a number on it, how much help are you hoping to get from FEMA? I think the, it's a great question. And you know how much things cost right now. Mm -hmm. And with the cost of construction equipment, uh, I told uh, our senators, Jill LeBrand and Schumer yesterday, this is easy, it, easily in the tens of millions of dollars. Wow. And then you also have to factor that West Point's here. West Point had many of their educational buildings flooded. Um, in some of the, uh, the pictures you see include West Point with cars completely covered with water. So all that stuff collectively adds to the price tag, which gets you qualified to get, there you go, there's a picture of West Point yeah. right now, mm. um, gets you qualified to get that FEMA money. So we're ready, We're worried about the residents right now. That's our, our always our priority. We, are, um, we issued a boil water alert for everybody, whether you have municipal water or well water, okay. uh, we are concerned about what could be contaminated to those systems. You know, we're seeing some of these images right here of these roads, several of these roads leading, like you said, to West Point, Bear Mountain, and the Seven Lakes washed away, and they require extensive, extensive repairs. What's the timeline, if, if you're even there at this point, on getting some of those roads back open? Because some of them are real big thoroughfares for commuters. Yeah, great question. So the main ones we're trying to get run, uh, like the main arteries, like 9W, yeah. but they have so much damage. You know, where we found the remains of this young lady the other night, uh, I'm there at the scene, and every couple minutes I heard what sounded like a car hitting bottom, and I said, what the heck is that? It's giant boulders coming from the bridge below 9W. Wow. So, and falling into the ravine. So that's how much power this water had, you know, two inches hitting or, or three inches hitting every hour with a collective of, I think, over eight inches. It was just um, you, you just uncontrollable. And like I said, the damage that was done, I went to houses yesterday. They said, look, we're missing our oil tank for our house. Mm. So that's either in the Hudson River or oh, in somebody's goodness. yard downstream. It's just just one of a million different stories, as well as cars everywhere still. Oh, wow. That's just devastating. Uh, well, what's the latest that you can tell us about Metro North? Because we know the engineers were out surveying the damage to the tracks. Um, the MTA is providing buses to the areas. Train service was affected. I mean, any indication on when service will even be anywhere near to fully restored? I think it'll be actually pretty quick, guys, because yesterday their crews called my crews, my public works, and we needed to make a road for them to get to the tracks. Now, do they have a lot of damage? Yes, but they have a ton of resources on the scene. They want to get back on track. And I'm telling you, uh, they have folks there. They are, they are gonna, I, I would see probably a couple days unless some of their bridges are really uh, permanently uh, disabled that they had to do a, co a complete replacement. But I'm telling you, they are really hot to trot to get back in, in business. Yeah, absolutely, especially because the roads are closed. People are turning to mass transit. So, mm. Steve, uh, County Executive Stephen Newhouse, appreciate your time this morning. You're very busy. Keep us posted on everything. And, uh, and, and thank you to all the crews who are hard at work there. Thank you very much. Thanks for letting me join you today.